Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to show you what damages your cabbages, um, broccoli, cauliflower, this is uh, a kohlrabi, your kales, your Brussels sprouts, anything in that family that has leaves similar to this. You can see all the holes in there. This leaf completely chewed down and if you don't see it, you will in a second. This is the green cabbage looper or something similar and you see it right there. That's what's laid by that white moth that flies around and this is probably more than one. What? Probably more than one on there but they can damage these plants really really quickly and you can see everything that's been chewed down. So if you start getting damage that looks like this chew marks. You have probably cabbage worms, cabbage loopers. Let me show you how I'm treating mine by going over to my Brussels sprouts. Here are my Brussels sprouts. I've been growing these really um, since through May, June, July, so it's almost 12 weeks of growth. For the last 8 to 10 weeks they've only been treated with neem oil, 100% neem oil. These are in the same family as the kohlrabi, so that white caterpillar has been laying eggs on here if I wasn't treating it, these leaves would just be sheared down. I grew these last year, didn't do much in the way of treatment, and they were just filled with holes. You can see some holes in here. You know, these are some of the worms that got through, you know, in between the spray. I spray these about every seven to ten days, and you can see minor holes. The neem oil works by coating. You want to spray the top side and underside of the leaves. When the chewing insects chew your plant, the Basically, the, the insect has its um, feeding pattern disrupted. It doesn't really feed. It does other things to the, the insect also. But in about three days, because feeding's disrupted, the insect dies out and you have very little damage on your plants. And I think this is a total win situation against the green cabbage loopers or chewing caterpillars or worms, whatever you want to call them. I mean, these plants are just doing really, really well. Their main um, defense against the cabbage looper, which you saw earlier on that kohlrabi, has been the neem oil. And this is the first year the little sprouts are starting. Hopefully they form up nicely. I am learning how to grow Brussels sprouts in my area. This year is much, much better. They can take 120 days to mature, and I'm getting close to that point now. But anyway, if you deal with cabbage loopers, um, neem oil, 100% cold-pressed neem oil, really, really is effective. I, I think it's the best option that I have found. I've also made fabric tents over these out of a fabric called tulle to keep the white moth from getting to them, and that really does work. However, when the plants get bigger, sometimes you have to make the tent bigger, and if for some reason it opens up and a caterpillar, or the, ca uh, the moth <laughs> gets in there, it will lay eggs and you still have that problem. Hope you enjoyed the video and have an idea of how to really defend against the green cabbage looper for your cabbages, kales, um, Brussels sprouts, um, kohlrabi, anything in that family, broccoli, even cauliflower. You know, this way you get the harvest and you get little damage from those insects. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.